Here we go. Let's see if I get a second shot on this. Oh, they're there. That one is close. Yeah! Bingo! And I can see the shaft through them, so I know it's a decent shot. Yep, that float is staying taunt. He's on the end. So awesome. Hey guys, welcome to the channel. I'm Peter. In today's episode, we're going to deal with this big bluefin tuna head that I got from the most epic day in the water I've ever had. Hopefully you saw that video. In the past, you've seen me make Chinese fish head soup, and it's amazing. I've actually done it with a smaller tuna head, but I wanted to try something different. In Japan, in some very exclusive restaurants, they will grill and bake a whole tuna head. So I wanted to give that a try. I've never done that before, so I did a little research, and I found a chef, a, actually a barbecue champion, Harry Sue, on YouTube. Go check him out. And he did a tuna head grilling, and he used real basic ingredients, which I really liked. So that's what we're going to do here. It's using basically mirin, which is a sweet Japanese rice wine, which is a nice contrast and pairs well with the fish. We're going we're gonna to slather it in that, and then basically salt this head. And that's it. And that's more or less the prep to get this guy on the grill. So with that, let's dig into it. And I sure hope this fits in my Weber in the backyard. And now we add a generous amount of mirin all over that tuna head. You want to get every nook and cranny covered. That way, when we add the sea salt next, it has something to stick to. So make sure you get all the same nooks and crannies. Welcome to my backyard. Here's my grill. The tuna head's been marinating for maybe 20 minutes now, so we can go ahead and put it on. It's too tall to put vertically. I don't think my lid will close on it. So we're gonna cook it on its side, on the cheek, then flip it halfway through. Something this size should be maybe around three hours worth of grilling at 350 degrees. So I'll monitor it along the way and, and see if that's gonna work. So let's give this a try. All right. <laughs> and it just fits. <laughs> All right, we're gonna let this thing get up to temp and uh, we'll come back and check on it from time to time. Okay, it's been about an hour and a half. Time to flip it over. I've been checking on it periodically. It's looking pretty good. Some flare-ups here and there because of the oil is dripping out of the head. Ooh, that, all that inside is looking really good. Oh my goodness, it's just coming apart. Let's try that. Try that for a little bit. Give it another hour. Give it another hour or so. Make sure we cook everything on the inside. This is an adventure. <laughs> okay guys, we're gonna go ahead and pull the tuna head. It's a little early, but I think it's ready. It's kind of fell apart a little bit. Um, so this will be tricky how we get this to actually come off. We're done grilling the tuna head. I uh, brought it inside, it's been resting for a little bit, and I think it's time to dive into it here. Um, got my glove on, because I think I'm gonna have to pull pieces apart to get to some of the good stuff. Um, so maybe the first part that we know about is the cheek. So, ooh, see so everything's all crispy. Okay, oh. Here is the cheek. Show it to this camera. That's, oh, here's some more of it. Okay, I'm just gonna try some. Mmm. Oh my goodness. That's good. Mmm. Perfect timing. 
Ooh. Here's some, some meat. Let's try this one. Oh, this is super tender. So this looks like this part of the loin on the back that runs into the head. Oh my gosh. That is super tender. Oh, okay. Take a bite. Oh. Look at this chunk. <laughs> Massive chunk of meat. Oh, oh. Oh my gosh, that is so delicate. Right in there. At this point, I continue to take the head apart, searching for little pockets of meat treasure, and uh, actually having fun doing it. It's kind of like a culinary hide and seek where I'm looking for deliciousness hidden in the head. I took away the rest of the tuna head, the, sh the shells and the bone and all that, and pretty much have just meat here. Um, some of it I tried already uh, as we were taking it apart, and it was pretty good. I'm going to try some more. Uh, I'm going to try the uh, muscles and that area behind the eyeballs. Uh, that again I heard is supposed to be really good. Here's some of it. Oh my god. Super rich and fatty. So good. It's like, oh wow, that's really good. It's like even softer, more delicate than the cheek meat that you might be familiar with. Um, there's some of that loin area. Mmm. Super tender. Oh my god. It's it's pretty amazing that there are so many different uh, flavors, textures, and diversity within the head. I think that I'm really glad that I tried to do this. Thank you for uh, following me on this little journey, uh, this experiment of grilling a tuna head. Made some mistakes, for sure, and uh, at the same time, learned a few things. So. I'm confident that the next time I get a tuna, I'm gonna do this again, I'm gonna grill. And the next time will be even better. Hopefully you'll be with me on that journey. In the meantime, I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, I enjoyed making it and, and, and uh, stumbling along. And if you liked the video, give me a like. Consider subscribing and joining me on more adventures here in beautiful California and beyond. Until then, Take care. Oh my God. Can't believe this is the first time I've tried this.